Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCrady, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCrady. Welcome to the short series of conversations on emerging clean and clear through very valuable and oftentimes vulnerable seasons of transition. And one of the major things that we face in that process are relationships. And some of those relationships will end, some will mature, some will shift, and some are sent to seduce. Times of transition, my friends, are very, very key, but we want to come through them clean and clear. So join me on this series of conversations, and I pray that it is going to be of invaluable help to you as you continue to move forward with God. Love you all. All right, here we are continuing with Clean and Clear, and I think it may be a couple of more episodes than what I realized if I'm going to be true to the subject and true to the importance of when we are in transition. Now, I briefly mentioned this on our previous episode as we opened up this series of conversations, a short series of conversations, but these could definitely lead to more conversations if we start to drill down into what it really takes to let the Lord show us what goes on in us and the reality of what is going on as we interact on different levels uh, with different people and different authority structures and And he educates us on how, not only how we are going to move with authority, but really a lot of that is about how we are going to become the functioning authority that we need to be in our own life and in the places and assignments that he's going to send us. So these things have far-reaching ripple effects in how we're going to live our life. But I, I briefly mentioned on the previous episode that oftentimes when we're in seasons of transition, sometimes we, we come into shocking encounters uh, with people that we thought maybe were going to be with us. We thought they were going to help us in our transition. We, you know, or maybe we misunderstood their, their place in our life. And, or maybe we just hadn't really seen what was operating. Maybe our shame filter was still working where we see other people a little bit more, you know, glamorous and a little bit more... Uh, shiny than they really are. And so when you start growing up and your shame filter literally cracks and shatters, you realize that people are people, right? You begin to see other people more realistically. You begin to see yourself more truly. And so sometimes these shocking encounters can just punch you right in the face with no notice. And uh, so I just want to open up this episode with this brief, brief warning that when you decide to emerge into your, um, into your new, right, and you start to navigate your new, some people are going to show their true colors and their two faces. And you're going to um, learn that sometimes everything isn't quite as it appears. Again, you may have to come into realization about yourself realization about others, but in transition, we come into greater depths of truth, and we must face those things, and we must own those things as the Father is um, directing, because there are certain things that He wants you to know, not just for that moment, not just maybe in that one relationship or, or interaction but he's trying to show you something that you're going to need to remember for many other encounters to come. And that though you may think people are for you, you find out they're not. Now you're going to also find out uh, there are people that are for you that maybe you didn't even realize. Or maybe where you had misunderstood people, you realized that really they were for you in the long haul. And uh, even though you're places of maybe bitterness, resentment, disillusionment, all of that caused you to falter and fumble a little bit. 
um, then you continue to, to move with the Father and you realize, no, wait just a minute. There are people that might not be flattering me. They might not be chasing me, but they are for me. Because sometimes in our immaturity, we want people who appreciate us, chase us, flatter us, need us. But as you mature, you begin to realize, no, I just need people that are real and honest and they're going to walk with me uh, and don't need anything from me. They're not utilizing me for their own benefit. Ministry is not the crux of, of, you know, uh, of the whole basis of, of relationship. It's for our lives. And so this brings us to uh, relationships that are going to mature in seasons of transition. So in the previous episode, we talked about um, oftentimes relationships that are going to end, and they need to end, and you need to move on. But now we look at in times of transition when things need to get really clean and get really clear is that there will be relationships that need to mature. These are relationships that just simply continue to deepen. They become richer, stronger, clearer. They bring strong encouragement to your life. And you realize this could be one of those long-haul relationships because as you mature, right, sometimes there are people in your life They don't want you to mature. They want you to stay subservient. They want to remain superior and you inferior. They want to remain the boss and you remain the employee. But you see, if people are really given for your life, everything they pour into you is that you might mature with your life in the Father and that you might become who you're meant to be to Him, even if it means that you bypass them or that you go beyond them, hopefully so. Uh, that you, um, you know, do not have to remain, right, um, small. (laughs) You can become all that you were meant to be. That means they're really for uh, what the Lord uh, is doing in your life, and they really want what the Lord wants. They want your best, and they know that He is the best for you, and they want what you and He have together, and they want to see you mature and go beyond them. And that even if that means that you are now geographically somewhere else, that maybe you're not in the same work structure that you once were, but they are very comfortable in their own skin and they want you to mature and go, um, you know, to all the heights and depths and lengths and widths that the Father has written down for you. And so... um, you both continue to mature. And these can be low maintenance and high yield relationships, meaning it doesn't mean now that you're together every day, but when you're together or when you talk, when you connect, you know there is that same element of this is good and this is clean. And there's a high yield to it. And that you you don't demand of them that they have to call you every day and y'all have to stay all enmeshed, right? And that you're able to move freely with a confidence that you go, you go and do what God has put in your heart to do. And I'll be right here. And if there's anything you need, I'll be right here because I'm for your life, not just for what you could do for me, right? Because most, most people realize that, you know, really when, when you're working for other people, that's what it may appear. Really, if they're people given for your life, they understand that they're in your life for a season to pour into you because you're going on to greater things. And it's not that you work for them. It's that while it appears as though you may be serving them or their vision or working in their organization, however it may come to pass, they understand really and truly they're serving your life and they're pouring into you for your life and that you can take everything that they've poured into you and go far beyond them. These are relationships that mature and deepen. And as you mature, uh, they are maturing, right? And there's a security. This is what I love in the richness of these relationships. There's a security, a knowing that we're in this together and that no matter what comes up, nothing has changed. 
Nothing has changed. Just because we haven't spoken in a month or two months or, or however long it may be, that they are still for you. They have not taken up offense that you did not call them, that you did not even respond to some of when they reached out to you. They're not offended by that. They understand the ebb and flow of life and that their connection with you was set by God, not just by two people deciding to connect. And so there's an honor to God in that. And there's a deep security because security brings knowing. Insecurity means I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And so therefore I have to always ask and check and perform and this and that. No, there's a security that comes when you know that your connection was ordained by God, brought about by God for his purposes and for your enrichment. And that these are relationships that will always add to you and not drain you. They will always want your best and not just use you. So I think that these relationships are some of the most amazing relationships of life. They're born of the spirit. They're not soulish in their origins. So they don't manipulate or threaten or pout. They don't use you only when they need you, right? There's a there's a, a an ebb and flow, a give and take. You begin to walk as peers, no matter how it may begin, have begun, right? That you, you begin to walk as, as peers, as people who are both moving forward in their life with the Lord. So I pray that you're knowing which relationships God is bringing to an end and that you will know the relationships that are simply maturing as you both move through deep seasons of transition and honor those and be glad for those and let them be some of the, the richest, strongest, clearest, cleanest relationships that you'll ever have. And that takes two people, right? Knowing and honoring the father in the midst of that. And then everybody just get on with (laughs) obeying God and living out your fullest life and continuing to be a very strong blessing to each other because we are rich in God, my friends, and we are rich in relationships that continue to mature as you as people mature. So that is awesome (laughs) because I live in many of these and how grateful and glad I am for those. So in the next episode, we're going to look at relationships that need to shift. And um, then we'll look at relationships that uh, are sent to seduce because we do need to recognize all of these. All right. So if you're listening to this as a fresh episode on Monday in the U.S. of A., uh, then a blessed uh, Memorial Day to you, to your family. All right. We will talk soon, my friends. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.